Most AZ noobs struggle in the very beginning. We all know this and definitely have been there at some point, unless you're some sort of mega chad gamer. But today, I'm going to help you new people out with 5 items you can craft easily early game to help you drastically improve your lifespan and maybe even get off the dreaded coast. Number 1. A Stone Knife One of the basic tools you'll need in Daisy to survive is a knife. Finding more conventional ones can be really tough as a freshie in a spawn town. So instead, you can look on hiking paths, train tracks, and dirt roads for two stones that you can smash together combine to make a stone knife. Stone knives have the same functions as a regular knife. They can open cans, cut up animals, use, can be used in crafting, and so on. But they do wear down quickly. However, small stones are fairly common to find, so you should be able to get away with early game with one or two stone knives before you find a legit one. Keep in mind that stones typically spawn in based on player activity. So, if someone has been hanging around that town for a long time in that area, dirt paths, roads, and train tracks in the radius should be stocked with stones. However, if you don't see any, make sure you go back and forth along the trail since they typically will spawn in behind to the, or to the side of you so that they don't just pop in and break your immersion. 2. Rope Two of the last three crafting items that I go over in this video do require a rope, so if you can't find one in a shed, you need to know how to make one. Crafting one is pretty simple. You either need two full stacks of rags, one stack equals six, so you'll need 12 rags total, or, believe it or not, a pile of guts. Combining the two stacks of rags works simply if you just take one stack in one hand and combine it with the other. Easy. But for guts, you need to combine it with a bladed item, which is crazy because I just taught you how to make a stone knife. How convenient. And you'll be able to craft one that way. 3. A Fishing Rod One of the most common ways a freshy noob of Daisy will die is starvation. You all probably watch other creators thrive and swim in a sea of canned goods, but that's just not reality. Those are experienced players that probably murdered their way to that level of bean and peach wealth. You are probably not ready for that yet, and you definitely won't be able to find enough canned items to help you get too far inland without starving on a vanilla server. So, I recommend that you make a fishing rod, especially if you're struggling to find spawned in food. Fishing rods only require a long stick, which you can collect from bushes and some small trees with your hands, and then you also need a rope. Combining these two items will make an improvised fishing rod. You can also find normal rods along the coast in fishing boats and in some storage containers along docks, but sometimes it's just easier and more efficient to craft your own and not spend precious minutes looking for a real one slash having to carry it with you. The great thing about an improv rod is you can simply carry the rope around and wait until you need to fish and then build it. Then when you're done, you can break it down with a bladed tool or <coughs> stone knife. Get your rope back and save it until you need to use it again. 4. A Bone Hook Now, to piggyback off of number 3, you can also craft bone hooks to go fishing with. All you need are, obviously, bones, which can be found by cutting up animals or dead freshies that happen to jump off the F11 respawn lighthouse. You can use any dead fresh bone, I'm just making a daisy joke. And a bladed item. Simply combine the two together and you have what you need to start fishing. Also, don't forget to use your stone knife to get bait in terms of worms by looking at the ground and holding down the left mouse button or your right trigger. And five, a backpack. Well, now that you have a, a knife, some basic fishing supplies, and maybe some spare rope, you'll probably still need a backpack to carry all your precious survival tools. So, why not make a great, inconspicuous craftable bag to get you started. Making an improvised backpack is simple. All you have to do is combine a burlap sack, which you can commonly find in sheds, outhouses, and other industrial spawns, with that rope that I taught you how to make, and you can make a courier bag, which has 30 total slots plus a radio attachment. Then, to add an additional 12 slots and a chem light attachment to the bag, combine the empty courier bag with three short sticks to make the upgraded version. Well. That about does it for the 5 items you can craft to help you thrive as a fresh bone in DayZ. 
If you can think of any other craftables that are easy to make early game, let us know down in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video if you found it to be helpful or you just simply enjoyed. Alright, that's it for this time, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.